welcome back to another recipe. My name is Rose and today I will be showing you guys how to make the most awesome, the most delicious peach cobbler. And let me tell you, this recipe is so good. Oh my God, it's so easy too, okay? All you need is some ice cream and you're good to go. So if you want to see this recipe, keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Island 5 Cooking for more recipes like this one. Leave me a comment down below. How do you make your peach cobbler? Do you use fresh peaches or you just use the regular canned one? So leave your comment down below. Let me know. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, to get started, you will be needing three can of peaches. Now you can use regular fresh peaches if you like. This is an easy recipe, so we're using the canned one, okay? This is such an easy recipe and the result is to die for. Now I'm adding half a cup of brown sugar in there. I'll be adding half a cup of regular sugar as well. Then I'll be adding some under I'll say half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder with a little bit of nutmeg not too much because you don't want to make this taste like a pie it's not a pie it's a peach cobbler so you don't want to add too much nutmeg nutmeg is just very strong and also I added a little pinch of salt this is just my preference just to balance out the sugar then we're going to give it a stir Next, I'll also be adding some lime zest on there as well. Mm -hmm. Now, I know a lot of people like to use the lime juice. Me personally, I like the lime zest just a little bit in there, just like that. And then we're going to let this simmer on medium low, okay, for about seven to 10 minutes. Just give it a stir. Let it do its thing, let it boil on medium low. All right, now you guys can see how it's boiling. Okay, I am going to remove it from the stove. Time to start with the you see how thick it got most of the water kind of dry a little bit now I'm using two pie crust to um, to make the base now you can make this handmade I have I have a recipe where I make pie crust from scratch I will leave it down below if you're interested but I didn't want to go through all of that extra work because this recipe is such an easy recipe and I used the pre-made one. So I buttered up my baking dish. Then I am going to plate the pie crust on there. And then we're going to use our hands, okay? My hands are clean, I know. Make sure your butters are nice and melted. Now I'm using the butter so it doesn't stick. Once, once it's done cooking, it, it doesn't stick on there. Make sure once you place the pie crust on there, make sure you flatten it with your finger because you don't want any air bubble. It's just gonna look a disaster. So make sure you ignite. Make sure you firm it, press it down with your finger. Now what we're going to do is place our peaches in there just like that. And then we're going to cover it. I have another pie crust that I am going to cover it with. And let me tell you this right here, guys. Mm, I just love peach cobbler. I love it. <laughs> um, this right here is the other pie crust you're going to need. Now you can create the design that I'm doing. Now you don't have to do it, it's very optional. I just wanted to have something nice, something cute, something representable. That's why I went in 
make it look kind of fancy but not really now you can just use the pie crust and just cover it and poke some holes on there and you're good to go but because i just wanted to make everything look different not different but look good that's why i went i went ahead and cut them into strips just like that we're going to cover it once you're done just cut the ex excess uh, dough just like that and make sure you press it down to to uh, seal the pie crust together so it doesn't you know once it's done cooking it doesn't open or fall apart I should say but basically that is it you can add I did add a little bit of melted butter on there off camera sorry but yeah that's basically it that's all you had to do and then we're going to bake this on 350 for about an hour and this is what you have your peaches should be nice and soft falling apart and this should be the best dessert ever okay this is it guys hope you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe like the video if you have not done so yet leave me a comment down below how do you like this recipe and i will see you guys later bye Mwah.